hello and welcome to this tutorial in this video i'm going to be teaching you how you can add a sender domain to your email marketing software uh, adding a sender domain enables you to send um your email campaign with your personal email let's say you have a website and you want to send out your email campaign from the domain name of your website let's say eben as dwpb.com adding a sender domain to your email marketing software will help you achieve that and for this tutorial i'm going to be using omnisend but this um step is straightforward and you can use it with any email marketing software you are currently trying out for now and in case you want to try out omnisend you can click the first link in the description below for you to sign up for an account and also use the code dwp bro to get five percent of the first three months of your purchase and without wasting much time let's get started with the tutorial so what we're going to do now if you're using omnisend and also if you're using any email marketing software you're just going to navigate to your store settings so for omnisend we're going to come here and then we're going to come to store settings and under the store settings we're going to come to sender domains and right here we're going to click on this plus icon that says add sender domain so the domain that we're going to be adding let's put it here i'm going to be using the subdomain which i linked to omnisend so i'm going to type in my subdomain here and i'm going to come down here to click on continue so what we're going to do now is to authenticate our domain with omnisend and we're going to be using these three options that we have here so to do this we're going to log into our cpanel where we hosted our domain name and for my own i'm just going to open my name chip and log into my cpanel right now so while we are in your cpanel we're going to search for zone editor and also i forgot to mention if your domain is connected to cloudflare you can also add a dns through cloudflare but for my own i'm not using cloudflare so i'm going to be connecting it uh from my cpanel so what we're going to do now is to come to our domains and also i'm using the subdomain which is under this main domain in case you're using a domain name let's say your domain name.com uh, you can just click uh, simply click on this manage and add it there so all we're going to do now is to come to manage and i'm just going to scroll down and uh, we're going to come to this side here that says add record i'm going to click on this drop down icon so we're going to be adding a txt record and the one we're going to be adding first is spf so we're going to copy the value and i'm going to come back to zone editor to paste the value under the text and now because i'm using the subdomain i'm just going to be typing in the prefix that comes before my domain for example i'm using store.dwpbro.com so i'm going to be typing in store here and automatically it's going to fill out the remaining aspect of my domain for me so let's just click on save record okay now let's move to the next one let's copy the name come back to zone editor and let's add a new txt record uh we're going to paste its name under this valid zone, zone name and uh, we're going to copy the value also and we're going to paste it right here and we're going to do the last and we're going to do the same thing for the last one just copy the name paste it under the name section and uh, copy the value also all right so we've successfully saved all these in our dns settings in our dns record for our domain and it says it usually take about 30 minutes and sometimes it take up to 24 hours but in this case it shouldn't take that long so let's come back to omniscient and let's try to see whether our domain can be authenticated right now so we're going to come down here to click on verify records and as you can see it has successfully verified all our records um remaining spf so we're going to give it a few minutes and we're going to come back here to try again all right so it says our spf record has been added successfully and now we can just go back and you can see everything has been verified um also our warm-up is in progress and if you want to learn more about warm-up from omnisend i'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to read their blog post and learn more about what um, warm-up is all about and how it affects you positively so we're just going to come down here to domain setup and we're going to change to this domain we just added and also for the automation we're going to change to this domain and as you can see our sender domain warm-up is activated automatically and it says it's going to um, last from 28th March to April 27th. So we're just going to leave Omnisend to do its thing automatically. And now one last thing we need to do on this page is to come to email addresses. And we're going to add the email address we want to use to send our email campaigns instead of the Omnisend shared email. So what we're going to do now is to click on add email address. And for my own case, I'm going to be using eben at store.dwpbrew.com and we're going to click on save and if you want to learn how to create a business email like this i'm going to link a video in the description and also up in the card above you can watch this video to learn how to create this email for free in your cpanel so what we're going to do now is to verify this email okay it says it's going to send a verification email to our inbox so let's log into our email, email account here so this is the email sent from omnisend we're just going to open it up and uh i'm going to scroll down to click on verify my sender email address all right so it says successfully verified your email is verified you can now continue sending your campaigns to proceed to your account click on the button below so let's click on continue and right now we can come to campaigns and anytime we want to create a campaign by clicking on this plus icon we can use our 
custom email so let's click on create email and here under the email information we can see our sender email address is now the custom email address we just added right now so this is how you can add a sender email address to your email marketing software and send out emails with your own domain name this increase your brand recognition and also decrease the rate at which your um, emails are going to land in the spam folder of your subscribers so if you found value in this video make sure to give it a like also subscribe for more content like this and drop your comments if you have anything to tell me any suggestions or anything i might have missed in this tutorial and if you want to try out omniscient always click the first link in the description in the description below to sign up for an account and also use my code the wp bro to get five percent off the first three months of your purchase and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out